What's up guys, Marcos here. So I've been using the Phone Rebel case for about a month now, and here's what I think. So about a month ago, I got this case in the mail and I did an unboxing video, which I'll link somewhere up here. And I absolutely loved it as soon as I first saw it and I first put it on, it was so comfortable. And when I first unboxed the case in that last video, I absolutely loved the way the case looked and how it felt and how it fit on the phone. So right now, this video, one month review, and I'm going to be talking about some of the stuff I love about this case and some of the stuff that I'm not too happy about. So first things first, this case is extremely comfortable. The fact that it has open sides where you can touch the sides of your phone makes it so much more comfortable than a case which adds a lot of bulk on the sides of the phones, like most cases. It really like slims down the phone and makes it feel so much more better than say if you had a phone with a regular case on it. Now to go along with this, in the package they also include these, I'll show a close up, these things to put on the side to protect the sides of your phone. And that I, they, they work, but they're not the best in my opinion. As you can see, the adhesive strips on the side of the phone do their job at protecting the sides of the phone, but they easily get marked and scratched, which you can see in this close-up, and they start peeling too, eventually. Mine started forming these little, like, bubbles and peel marks. For now, the protective adhesive strips are doing their job in protecting the sides of the phone, but in a couple months, I'm pretty sure they'll be com almost completely peeled off. But in the package, you do get an extra set, so you can easily put those on if needed. Or you can just use it without it, but you will run the risk of having your phone side scratched when you drop it. Now, speaking about drops, <laughs> including that one, I dropped my phone a more than I thought I would in the last month. I usually don't drop my phone that much, but I've dropped it at least seven times in the last month, which is pretty sad. I've dropped it from like four feet onto the carpet here. I've dropped it from here from like two feet now or whatever that is onto carpet. I've dropped it onto tile. I dropped it in the sand yesterday when I was out playing baseball and it's held up. My phone hasn't broken. My screen protector hasn't cracked. The case has some minor scratches, which I'll show you a close up on the back. There are scratches probably from the sand which there's a layer of like some sort of layer on the on the back of the the phone the aramid weave and it looks like it can be scratched easily if you just rub it on something too hard but it's still protecting the phone case is supposed to protect the phone but it will get some scratches they're not that visible but if you look up close there you can see them but despite all of that, I'd say this case has held up really well for one month and I think it's going to last me a long time for as long as I have this phone. But I absolutely love it. It's completely durable. I've dropped my phone a couple of times and it'll be, it's, it's completely fine. Granted that was on carpet, but I've dropped it on harder surfaces and I've had like no damage to the phone itself. Not even to the case. You can't even see the corners don't have much damage on the case at all. But like I said, there are scratches on the back, so that's the part that's going to get scratched. Now, I have noticed that there has been some dust that gets in between the case and the phone, as with all cases. But since this case has open sides, the dust can go right in between here. And while there isn't a gap at all, there's no gap, but as with dust, it finds its way everywhere. So if, you, if I like take off the case of my phone, you'll see that there's been some dust that gets on here. You, you mostly see it along the sides, but very little makes it to the middle because there's, there's on the inside of the case, if you haven't seen, I detailed it in my last video, that it's some sort of like fabric right here to keep the phone from getting scratched while it's inside of the case. Now, with that being said, I'm perfectly fine with dust coming in through here because of how comfortable the case is without sides. Like, I can deal with dust coming in through the sides here because this case is just, it feels so nice to hold because it feels like you're holding your phone without a case. 
you know how everyone takes off their case every now and then to just hold their phone and use it if you're in your house or something that's what it feels like but like at all times while you're still getting pro drop protection now another feature i forgot to mention with this case is that on the top and bottom on the front side of the case the case is flush with the screen which makes scrolling feel so much nicer because every now and then when you're scrolling you'll hit the top or bottom of your case and it kind of blocks your finger a little bit now here that never happens because you always this is flush completely flush with the with the phone it's the little features like that that just make this case stand out from all the other regular cases and i call them regular because a lot of cases are very similar and this was the first case in a while that i've seen that actually revamped the case game <laughs> that's a thing that's why i love this case so much so if you're looking to buy a case for your iphone i would 100 percent recommend the phone rebel case there's three different models there's the rebel case the one i have and frosted and clear I don't think you can go wrong with any of those three cases. They're all shaped the same. The only difference is the back material. If you want to check out the cases, just go over to phonerebel.com and you can see the pricing on each of the cases. They range from $30 to $40 and they work for, I think it's iPhone 7 and up. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, leave them below. I'll try to answer every single one of your questions. If you want to see my initial, my first impressions and an unboxing of the case, then check out the video, which I'll put somewhere up here in the description that I did a month ago. And peace, guys.